Students, I hope you had a great Labor Day weekend, and we're back, still in unit number one. And unit number one is called the Gilded Age. Now, why do we call it the Gilded Age? Well, it's based off of a Mark Twain quote. Yes, the famous author, Mark Twain, same guy who wrote Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. And he called it the Gilded Age because he thought the age was much like a gilded coin. Now, this is a penny, and it's made of copper, solid copper. If I chomped on it, I would found out, find out the hard way that it is indeed solid copper. Now, a gilded coin might be gold or copper or silver on the outside, but the inside is not what it seems. The inside is a filler material, and that's what Mark Twain used to describe this era. He said that in America, from 1865 to 1900, the outside world saw extreme wealth. They saw creativity. They saw industrialization on a scale never before seen. They saw massive growth, but that was hiding the true nature of America at the time, was extreme poverty, dirty cities, terrible working conditions. So on the outside looking in, what did people see? They saw wealth, they saw creativity, ingenuity, lots of inventions. The whole world attended the United States in 1893 at the Chicago World's Fair. And they saw an illuminated city, the first illuminated city in history with thousands of bulbs showing this grandiose technological display of sophistication and technology. But if you were to look inside America's cities at this time, what would you see? The worst tenement housing in the world? Workers working 12 hours a day, six days a week, exploited, often injured? You'd see pollution, you'd see poverty, and you would see corruption. One of your main assignments this week is to write a thesis. And when you're writing this thesis, the first thing you need to do is collect evidence on the business leaders of this age. Now, we have called the business leaders of this age captains of industry, but some would call them robber barons. When we call them captains of industry, we focus on them as their positive view of business leaders, the way that they revolutionize business innovated industry, and in doing so, built the foundation of the American economy. But, if you look closer, what else would you see? You would see cutthroat business, business tactics, you would see corruption, and you would see greed. In this unit, in this thesis, you're going to decide if these leaders, Vanderbilt, Carnegie, Rockefeller, Morgan, if we should interpret the way they lived their lives and the way they behaved, as truly captains of industry? Or were they more robber barons who exploited workers to get extremely rich? So your assignments this week are as follows. The first thing you need to do if you did not complete it, and I know there was some hiccups, is you need to collect evidence on these individuals so you can make an educated thesis. You're collecting evidence that displays their positive attributes as well as their negative attributes so you can make an educated decision and take a stance. Next, you need to write your thesis. This will be the first writing assignment that we've done in this class. It's worth 30 points, so get that done. You're going to do some reading with your Gilded Age sourcing review, and on Thursday, the first quiz will be made available. It's nine quizzes and you will take it online, or nine questions, excuse me, and you will take it online. And that will finish up our first unit on the Gilded Age. If you have any questions or you have any issues, please send me an email. I'll get back to you as quick as possible. Have a great week and I'll see you later.